I've had my car for five years. I use for the first time cruise control. Oh. <laughs> yes! I've never used cruise control before because so, I was family, always scared of using it. Can I just say, this is actually a win for me. How good is cruise control, well, by the way? Well, it's good, but there's a couple of exceptions. One, when you're coming up to a car in front of you that's a bit slower and you've got to put your foot on the brake because then you've got to reset the thing. Well, no, but you can just like d- button down to slow down. <laughs> huh? The little button that dictates you. You know, you can increase and decrease your speed with the little button. What? No. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so the thing where you where oh. you choose your speed, obviously you still got to brake for safety, but you can just decrease your speed or increase your speed. I didn't do that every time little... I got to near a car. I cancelled it, and then when I got around, them, <laughs> I, I reset it I again. I'm thinking, oh, this thing. is a pain. No, no, that's, that's a very simple thing. Literally, there's only two buttons: mm. the button that turns it on and the little knobby button next to it. Yep. You can increase and decrease your speed with that. And as good as it is, the other thing I hate about it is you don't feel in control, I don't reckon. There's something about driving a car that's driving itself and you haven't, you, like, you, you're not in control of the car. Was it made worse, though, by at this point you had your foot out the window? <laughs> so you didn't feel like if you had I was to brake. rubbing my car vigorously. No, that's, <laughs> you were trying to cool it in the air. You don't start, like, having a pedicure. You still got to have your feet down. What there. an amazing piece of technology, and I've discovered it. <laughs> you learn a new skill. Life's amazing, isn't it?